Hi, nice to meet you. The exponential growth of information technology, I believe, is inevitable. Now, what we do with it is not inevitable. So it's not that the future has, has been written already. But uh, we will get to an era where, by 2045, we will have multiplied the intelligence and intellectual capability of the human machine civilization a billion-fold compared to today. And that's a very transformative change. So we call it a singularity. And it is actually quite amazing. It amazes me. If you look at the price performance of computing on a logarithmic scale, it shows you smooth AA exponential growth from the 1890 American census. There's no point where it suddenly becomes different, but it becomes nonetheless more and more prodigious. You say we're about to approach the knee of this exponential curve and technological development's about to explode. Are there things we can do to maybe prepare for this, or is it something we can only view in hindsight? You know, when I was a student at MIT, we all shared one computer and it took up a whole building. The, the computer in your cell phone today is a million times cheaper and a thousand times more powerful. So we all have in our pockets something a thousand times more powerful than took up a building when I was a student. And what now fits in your pocket, 25 years from now, will fit in a blood cell and will be, again, more powerful than you know, millions of times more cost-effective. Capturing the real world in information technology, understanding biology in our computers, understanding music in our computers, understanding uh, human language, other mental processes, medical diagnosis. I mean, that these are all steps towards a singularity. But there's going to be thousands, many thousands of steps. And that's, in fact, how we get from here to there. It's not like we're going to go along, nothing's going to happen, and suddenly we're going to take this huge leap to super-intelligent machines. We're going to get from here to there through thousands of little steps. You know, 10 years ago, if I wanted to send you a movie, I sent you a FedEx package, I can now send you an email attachment. Same for a music file or a book. These can now be sent as information files. Those used to be physical products. And increasingly, more and more physical products will become just email attachments.